What's going on? Another video from the infamous Thompson's Kennels. Up here working on an old Lennox. This old girl here. We done transferred her over to RS44B. Pulling a good vacuum on her. We had to do a TXV replacement. Um, seeing it's being rebuilt. Two new compressors. That's the original M1 controller on there. But she's up and kicking. Got a good little vacuum on her. Pulling her down. Get her to 500. Charge this bitch up and get up out of here. But this is in the HVAC video right here. Um, no one has good boils, dogs. They're not like how they used to be. Now, if I said that, you would probably say that's pretty an asinine assumption. Especially coming from someone who's not running them currently to date. There's plenty of great Boyles dogs out there. Ronald Boyles has a legacy behind him. There's a lot of camps out here running Boyles dogs. You know, take a swing through North Carolina, take a swing through South Carolina. There's a lot of camps out there with the Boyles stuff. You know, when you make comments like that, you kind of make an ass out of yourself. There's plenty of camps running great Boyles dogs. I believe I got some of the best in the country. I believe my associates have some of the best in the country. Working hard, working fucking dogs. They're out here. Just like when people used to say, you know, Turtle Buster dogs wasn't shit. And nobody heard about them for the last decade. That would be an asinine assumption. There's people out there with great Turtle Buster dogs. There's people out there with great Boyles dogs. There's people out there with great Sorrels dogs. There's people out there with great Red Boy dogs, Red Boy Jocko dogs, Bolio dogs, Mayday dogs. They're, they're out here. They're always gonna be out here. They ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? We gotta like tighten up our conversation and the way we throw shit out there to the public because it discredits a lot of great people in history who made a legacy behind those dogs. You know, just being honest and fair, you know. I don't usually say too much shit, but when we get out here running our fucking mouths and shit like that and discrediting legacies and stuff, somebody probably needs to stand up and say something. I see a lot of guys out here on YouTube with great boils dogs. I mean, shit. I've run mines through the heavy WCC's Elvis, the Whitney City Combine stuff. Manny, Hustle Man, Black Reggie. I mean, Ain't Your Mama, Bolt, Bolt Action. Queen of Hearts, Dirty Mary. That's what primarily my dogs are predicated off of. And like I said, I got some of the best in the country. That's just what it is. So I'm not into belittling or discrediting anybody's bloodlines. That's why for as long as you ever heard me on YouTube, I never downplay or discredit anybody's bloodline because you can sit here and run your mouth and have a general conversation and throw shit out there in the atmosphere, but there's somebody that will take you in the deep water and drown your ass with that same stock that you out here talking about, there's none of. So, just out here in general, take it personal, really give zero fucks. But there's plenty of great Boyles dogs out here and salute to Mr. Boyles for allowing my OGs and me to receive some of those dogs from current breedings. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta just take a step back, you know what I mean? And, and respect the game. Because it's all cool when you run it when you run your mouth about dogs that you're not running. You know, when you walk around and feed 10, 15 of the motherfuckers, 20 of the motherfuckers, your opinion is a little bit more validated. But unless you're feeding a yard of them, you really can't say them type of say those type of comments. Because now everybody's running around talking about nobody has boils dogs. And like I said, there's a plenty of great kennels, great camps out here running those stranded dogs. And I'm not Captain Superman because I run those dogs and I run Red Boy Jocko Termite dogs as well. But put respect on certain people's names in this game and the legacy that they left. And a clean name means something. Because out of all of the dirty, grimy, degenerate gamblers that you hear running their mouth out here in 2022, you don't see too many people up there talking shit about Mr. Boyles. He's got, he's, he's got a pretty goddamn clean jacket. There ain't no mustard on that man's jacket. So let's not in 2022 try to throw mustard on the man's jacket. You know what I mean? One dog does not solidify a line of dogs. And that man can sit back and literally throw numerous dogs at you that he created that people have 
isolated and made strands of and are running currently to today. So that's my two takes on the nobody has good Boyle's dogs and Boyle's dogs are dead. You must be out your motherfucking mind.